I'm at Tesla Kilmore. As I drove into the Woolworths shopping center where it's located, I saw a Mercedes Benz in the middle bay, and uh oh, that was my reaction. This is a great example of how Tesla chargers are usually awesome, but they have two potential problems. So the first potential problem is that a car turns up and it has a charge port on the right hand side. What it'll do is take the charge port meant for my car there and use it for the middle bay of this three available slot at Tesla Kilmore. Meaning I can't charge at all and I've got to keep driving to the next charging location because the car in the middle is parked without anyone in it and I have no idea how full it is because there's no screen on the Tesla charger. Second problem is that you don't have any screen on the side of the charger. So you can't tell how much a car that's plugged in, what battery level percentage it has. It could be almost empty. It could be there for an hour. It could be almost full and the owner might be there about to come back soon. So you have no idea about what the charge level of cars that are plugged in is. Luckily the Merc owner turned up just when I stopped recording this video so I was able to charge. Hooray! So that's two ways that Tesla chargers can be annoying. Even though they're generally quite reliable, it would really help if there was a screen on the charger to show what battery percentage of the plugged in car. And it would also be really helpful if Tesla increased the length of the cables a lot on all their public open access chargers to stop the kind of problem that we have caused there by that car with a right hand charger port taking up the cable meant for my car. Please like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this for you. Thanks and see you later.